I look like I got punched in the eye, but this purple is really nice. <laughs> channel and if you're here for the first time then hey what's up welcome my name is Zay go ahead and subscribe if you have not done so already as you guys can tell from the title of this video I will be showing you a get ready with me how I achieve this look and how I make my 4x4 closures look like a frontal so if you're interested in seeing how I achieved both or one or the other then um keep watching hey y'all all right so we are back so the brows is done i look a little crazy but the brows are done y'all already know um if you are new my brows are micro shaded so i don't come on here and do my brows because my brows are already done so the most that i do is just conceal them and make them look pretty so i'm here with my meek millies y'all and my hair is growing growing can we say growth so um yeah i'm looking crazy but it's gonna come all together as you can see it's gonna come all together so first thing first that we're gonna did i plug it in i didn't even plug in my high comb i ain't plugging my flat iron i ain't plugging none of that give me a second first things first we're gonna just do hair get it out the way i was gonna do my hair last but i didn't want to do the baby hairs with the foundation and the cake up and not my speeds also let me look a little bit of presentable as we doing this makeup so yeah so first things first, of course, I'm going to put on my wig cap. This is just a regular, regular wig cap from the beauty supply store. And I got it in uh, light brown. I think that's what it means. It's a L brown. You'll see a whole bunch of different brands of wig caps. So just get whatever makes sense to you. Oh, this is tight, baby. Well, what did I expect? Is it we looking a little normal already? I just be outside with my meeks just doing whatever okay so this is the wig that we'll be putting on this is a four by four lace closure wig by i Ye Ye hair company and um yeah so let me just bring it around town and put it on i was gonna do like the whole because i literally just braided my hair i was gonna do the whole like oh y'all see the 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 my fro the blowout and then i braid it down but baby i ain't had no time for that like let's get straight to the point okay i'm also gonna show y'all how i basically finesse my wigs into looking like the frontal because y'all be asking me and it ain't nothing special but i'm about to show y'all on camera so i'm going to just spray it with some got to be just to hold down the closure i don't really need to do this but i'm just i'm i'm, I'm showing y'all what i do okay spray that fan that just a little just a tad and i'm gonna slide that forward and let that sit so now that that's on let me actually put the whole wig on <laughs> like zaynab what is you doing miss mamas okay so then i'm just going to it's it's on now i'm just gonna comb the hair ciao i'm gonna just comb the hair back so that is not like falling in my face like a frontal would and i'm going to pull out my baby hairs which i should have washed but i didn't so we move i cut my baby hairs on the corner of the closure just for you guys who really need like every little detail oh i do have a video of installing this hair so you can check that out if you need more insight more instructions if you want to see this more in detail so now i'm gonna take my edge booster um what is this called my wax stick typically i don't always use this but i use it sometimes so i'm gonna show y'all right now to use it if you really want to give like that that illusion so i'm gonna put it where i'm going to hot comb especially in the front because i want that like frontal little pushback effect so now with this hot comb, what you're gonna do is, I need to look in the mirror because if not, I just might burn myself. So you're gonna hold down the baby hair and you're literally just going to hot comb everything else backwards. There's more method to this madness, don't worry. And it's not madness, it's goodness. There's more method to this goodness. And yes, gonna continue to hot comb. And as you can see, it's already looking melted and the baby hairs is already sitting there. So 
now to make it greater and to look even more like finesse, I take my got to be spray and spray it. And then I hot comb it one more time. This is what's really going to cause it to stay in place. So when you do this, when you do this part, make sure that you hot comb the hair exactly how you're trying to position it. That's very important. Boom. What we looking like? What we looking like? Goodness. Goodness. Amazingness. Heat. Fire. So for now, I'm just going to pin it back. And then we're going to do the baby hairs real quick. So now for the baby hairs, I use um my Gorilla Smile and just regular, regular, what's this called? Edge brush. I also sometimes use like the Edge Booster um Edge Control. But we're just going to use this Gorilla Smile right now because that's what's here. This is actually like running out because it's getting real like slimy. Like it's getting pulley. I don't know how to explain it, but it's get, it, it, it's giving dry, dried out. So then you just gonna finesse your baby hair how you like your baby hair, okay? And also being that it is a closure, sometimes like the baby hair is longer. So like it'll do that. What I'll do is I'll take the end of the brush and I will tuck it under the wig and it look good as new. Tuck it right under. Boom. And now let's get into the makeup. Okay, so now let's get into the makeup. All right, so sorry, y'all know I be getting excited or whatever. So I'm just going to prime my face with, y'all know my Too Faced It Primes and Poreless Pore Banishing Blurring Face Primer. I tell y'all I love this primer. Like I done told y'all 50 million times that I love this primer. So we just gonna go ahead and prime the face i really should have um shaved my face but i'll probably do that tomorrow child this mustache we just gonna work over it we gonna, we gonna have to make this work okay we're gonna have to make this work all right so now that that's done actually i think this wig is looking a little uneven but baby it is what it is I like that's done. We're gonna get right into the eyeshadow. We're going to be using the Jackie Aina palette. Yeah, no, I have mad other palettes, but I like her better. So I'm not really sure what I'm going for. I have an idea. I want to do a halo eye. I have not done a halo eye in God knows how long, but I want to do a halo eye. So that's what we're gonna try, and that's what we're gonna attempt today. So. Fingers crossed we get this right because we don't got no other choice. So now I'm going in with this brush. I don't know what type of name. I don't know what brush this is. Wait, it's... It's a tapered blending brush by Luxie. It's the Luxie 205 tapered blending brush. I got it in a boxy... I got it in a boxy charm like some time ago. So yeah, I don't know where you can purchase it from. Sorry. I think I want my base to be... Ooh. All right. We going in with color, y'all. We going in with color. We're going in color. Just gonna go for it, okay? We're just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna go in with Big Wig right here, which is this nice little purple shade. And I'm just gonna be using a mirror on this palette. So forgive me, but I hope that y'all are close enough. Well, I'm close enough for y'all to see. But I'm just gonna put this, oh my gosh, we're doing this. I'm just gonna put this on the base of my lid. I look like I got punched in the eye, but this purple is really nice. Wow. Okay, we're doing this, y'all. We're doing this. And now I'm just gonna blend it upward to give like a slight gradient effect. This tapered brush was like perfect for this, actually. Perfect. Wow. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm mad excited. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. All right, so let me do this on the other eye. I'm mad excited. <laughs> Dumb excited. But yeah, let me do this on the other eye. <laughs> ah, let me do this on the other eye. Okay, so now that that's done, honestly, this purple is freaking beautiful. Like, and we're not even done, but this purple is so nice. I kind of dragged it out a little bit towards the end. Damn, this purple is fire. What? 
you could go just like that add some shimmer on a lid and call it a day will a halo eye look right on this look like is it doing too much because i feel like a halo eye is fake gonna be doing too much to solve that problem i'm gonna take like a flat brush and i'm going to go in with one of these like gold shimmers i don't know if i if i should use trust issues zam or solil hmm this is hard i know how i am with decision making so i'm gonna go in with zam like zam zaddy and i'm gonna do like a little halo in the center to see what it's hitting for and if i like it i might continue with the halo if not we just gonna figure it out okay I should have carved this out with, um, no, this is pretty. This is pretty. But I should have carved it out with um, concealer so that it could pop a little more, but it's okay. I actually just should have used a different color on my base, maybe like a brown, so that the purple could be the halo and then like the, the base could have just been like a brown transition. But again, it's okay. So there's a purple shimmer shade right here. Or maybe I should try pinker. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go in with pinker, which is this shade right here. I'm sorry if y'all hear like scraping. Again, it's like a snow day today. So like they're like cleaning the roads. I'm sorry. Like I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. So I'm going to go in with pinker. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to like add some concealer to my eye to let the pinker pop a little bit and hopefully it'll it'll come together. Okay, so now that that's done, y'all see y'all can see it like a little bit. So now we're going to go in with pinker and hopefully that does something. Very much giving something and it's doing nothing because it's blending in. So instead of pinker, we're just going to go in with Supreme, which is this bright pink right here. Let's see if that do... Okay, so I like how it's sitting with the purple. Okay, I like it. I don't know if y'all could really like see it, but it's kind of giving like a gradient. So it's working, okay? It's working. I'm not gonna pack it on too much so it's not too loud though. But it's doing something, I guess. It's doing something. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. This is why your girl sticks to what? naturals and neutrals this is excessive so i'm just gonna go back and forth with the brush that i used for big wig and i'm just gonna be blending out um supreme which is this pink shade this this is a lot but it's coming together so i guess <laughs> i guess I definitely should have did it the other way around though because this purple is really really loud but that's why i always tell people when people are like oh my gosh how are you so good at makeup baby trial and error okay i just be doing stuff and then i hope it works and if i don't like the way it's looking i just go in and i make it work <laughs> or i fix what i don't like or i add what i think i will like and it just turns into something. Makeup is literally art. So what you end up with is your masterpiece. Preaching. I like, I'm okay with it. No, it doesn't look too bad. It's, it's giving like, let me add some more of this dam cause it kind of like got lost in the sauce a little bit. But, and I'm also gonna like make it umbrella over if that makes sense. It's giving um Disney Aladdin or something 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 like that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes because that'll definitely save this look. A wing liner. If you hate your makeup and you wanna like not hate it, but you're not a hundred percent feeling it, add a wing liner. Add a y'all, what did I do? Like my eye looks a mess. What did I do on this side? Uh, now I gotta go in with the big wig and clean that up. Cause Zay, what is that? 
It don't even look like a halo no more. But like I said, add this wing liner and it all gonna come together. But I told y'all, this eye really looks crazy though and it's actually bothering me. So I am gonna have to go in and do some control. <sighs> this shit looks horrible. But I'm gonna keep it on. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it on and I'm gonna let y'all know y'all can still be a baddie even if you don't like your eye makeup. Cause it's all gonna come together in the end, just watch. Now that that is all done, um, I'm gonna go in and just add some powder to my face before I put on my foundation. So I'm going in with this Black Radiance Banana Powder in this Real Techniques 402 setting brush. So I'ma just go in, if you are new, I'm a oily girl, okay? And I'm just going to set my oily areas with this powder prior to putting on my foundation. This works for me. I don't know if it works for anyone else, but it works for me in controlling like the oils on my face. Okay, the eye makeup is not looking too shabby. It's a lot for me in this stage where I am in life, but it's not horrible. Somebody's gonna like it. It's gonna work for somebody. Ooh, that was a lot of powder. Ugh, choking. Ooh, chow. So now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline New York Super Stay Active Wear Foundation in the shade. 355 coconut and i'm just going to put this on my face well, obviously zay because where else would you put it okay i even feel like that's a lot because this foundation is very like i don't want to use the word pigmented because i don't know if that's the proper word to use for a foundation but it's thick like it's thick look look how much look child and this is perfect for like my winter shade because I am pale. Vacation me please because I need some sun. I need some tan, like pale. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and highlight our face. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in my highlighted areas. And honestly, with just foundation, I can't believe there was a, t a point in time where we were literally only putting on foundation. Like, you see how scary I look? Like, I look round, like, I look round, I look undefined, like a circle. Is this the geometry? And now let's blend. So once that is on, once that is blended out, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade Translucent Honey. And I am just going to set the face. So I don't bake, I just press everything in. Oh a lot of fallout there and now i'm gonna go in with my contour kit to contour my face i would use a cream contour but i really don't feel like it so powder it is and yeah so now that that's done we looking I'm just gonna go back in and just like with some excess powder, I'm not even going into like the powder part, just like the flat part. I'm just going to sharpen my contour right there just a little bit, just to, you see that? You see the difference that I made? And I'm not like sucking it in, that's, that's what I wanted to give, okay? And I'm gonna go back into this contour. Everything just be falling, but y'all already know that. So now I'm gonna go back into the contour palette and contour my nose just with some powder, no cream. We ain't gonna do too much because we ain't trying to look too crazy, but yes. I don't always contour my nose and then I know some people are like, oh, it's anti-black to be contouring your nose, baby. I'm not trying to be anti-snatched. I'm trying to be snatched, which is why I'm snatching this nose, okay? Um, but yeah, I don't always contour my nose. I don't think it's anti-black. I think it's a part of the makeup routine. Like, look how like brought out my nose looks. Like, we're looking good. So now I'm just gonna put on some lashes. I just found these lashes. I don't know where these lashes is from. I don't know if they're from the beauty supply store, which they most likely are. I don't know if they're from a brand. I don't know. I just found them. And I need to go lash shopping because I ain't got no lashes. And I'll be back 
after I put these lashes on. And the lashes are on. So now we're just gonna do this lip combo that's gonna bring our face back together because I feel like my face is all kind of blending in. So I'm using this lip liner from uh, Absolute New York. So waterproof gel liner in the shade chocolate. I got it from my local beauty supply store. Uh, yeah, so I'm lining my lips. So now that the lips are lined, I don't know what combo I'm going to go in with today. So I'm going to go in with, so I have this Ruby Kisses Cream Malicious Triple Butter Matte Lip Cream in the shade Tickle Me Silly. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. It's like very pink, but we're not done. It's pink, but with the lip liner, it gives like a nice, calm, like pinkish nude. You know, it's looking a lot. It's looking a lot. Don't worry, we're going to let it settle in a little bit. So now I'm going to top it off with this e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Peach Bellini. This gloss right here, y'all. So I'm going to just add that. Oh, it's just so precious. Like... And it's a lip plumping gloss, so you will feel it tingle. But I love the tingle. I love the spice. As the gloss is setting, I'm just going to go ahead and take my Milani Make It Last setting spray. And, ooh. Set this face. I love the setting spray. It smells so good. And it has your face, like, matte. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know about y'all, but I love a matte face. I'm already an oily girl, so I... It, over time, I will get a little oily, but I need I need it as dry as possible for as long as possible. And as the setting spray is setting, I'm gonna go back in with my contour palette, take this highlighter, and highlight my face. I feel like I do the same thing to my face over and over, which I'm which I'm not complaining about. But I really want to try some new makeup for, for y'all because I feel like at this point, y'all probably know my makeup routine, like the back, like like the back of y'all hand because I use the same products, I do the same thing. They work for me. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We look so pretty. <laughs> We look so pretty. As the lip is setting, I'm going to flat iron the rest of my hair. I'm going to put on a nice top because realistically, this is YouTube. And then we'll be back to close out the video. And we are back. So that concludes this get ready with me. I hope you guys did enjoy this makeup look. <laughs> We had to tussle, but even though it was like a little roller coaster, I do hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love it. It actually looks really good with this dress. I'm actually wearing this dress from Lovely Wholesale. I'm showing y'all now, but when y'all see it on the gram, like Valentine's weekend, just act like y'all ain't see it, okay? Act like y'all ain't see it. But yeah, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are not and have not done so already. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's weekend. Even if you don't have a Valentine. Love on yourself. Love on your girls. Love on your friends. And enjoy yourself. Okay? Period. I love you guys so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.